Welcome back to the channel and it has been a while but we're back with the first Wonderland update video of the year. Sorry for the delay, I've been a little bit ill over the past week. You might be able to hear a little bit of my voice but we're all good now, back with the update. So there's loads and loads of news to cover but before we get any further, remember the normal disclaimer that nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. First off, the Dow Treasury is slightly down prior to the end of the year. I'm sure we'll probably find out some reasons maybe behind that in this video, but still above 120 million, so looking pretty good. But now if we jump into the Discord, we have so many new posts. First off, the NFT community charity auction. I believe this has already actually gone through now because again, I'm going through basically all of the details in the past nine days from the start of the year. So we will quickly go over some things. First off, the voting went live for the Wonderland DAO amendment. I covered the DAO amendment changes in a previous video. This was the pretty much changes around the DAO security, etc. And we can see this has already actually closed with a 96% to implement these changes. So again, this takes into consideration legal advice and maintains stability and security. Protocol seeks to reduce governance insuffic uh, insufficiencies that cost holders both opportunities and profit. It will reduce attack vectors on governance and empower an elective team to make decisions with a reduced friction. It ensures flexibility and responsiveness in this, in this space where traits are paramount. So the high level overview for that would be as a result of abstract Wonderland's management there was could have been some malicious actors. So the example, we have a few of them here. And the low level details, again, this was the main six department structure that we had been covering on the channel. So Wonderland would then turn into basically six departments with a leader for communication, compliance, finance, operations, technology, and visionary. And this vote has gone through with 96% of the votes. Next up, the Wonderland Q4 Redemption. Sorry if you were thinking about the Redemption, it has actually already been passed now. It is done. So if you missed out on this one, you can get to look for the Q1 2023 Redemption. But that had already happened. Next up, voting was closed for TMP 8.1 to purchase LUSD and invest in chicken bonds. This was uh, approved with 99.95% of votes in favor. Pretty much unanimous. So this would be purchasing an additional 3 million LUSD and deploy through chicken bonds. One guy currently already had 7 million. So now this would up the amount to 10 million there. And that voting was closed. Next up, there was a revised multi-sig enhancement proposal. So this had already gone through once and I believe was failed. But we do have the revised version of the multi-sign. The low level details of this again were to remove now X, to add two new members to the multi-sig and to keep the multi-sig requiring three signatures to execute transactions so it'd be three out of six. The people they were looking to add were Snapfire and Dark Knight. We briefly covered this I believe in a previous video and this might actually be up to vote now because again this is, was only on the 2nd of January. Here we have the winners for the Winter Wonderland NFT contest. First place was Mamu. Second place, there was actually a tie. And then we had a third place. And you can actually bid on them to support the cause. So here we should be able to see the uh, all of the artworks. And there, I'm sure they should be a way to see the actual one, two, and three. I'll try and find those. So this is Jericho's one. This was the third place piece of art. If I look, I believe this was one of the joint second place pieces of art with 12 upvotes. I believe this, was that the winner? Electrolo? If I go back, sorry about this. Electrolo, no, this was a tie in actual second place as well. This Wonderland one. And then the winner was Mamu Alice Graffiti, which that one is actually really, really cool. So yeah, well done to everyone who entered into the contest. But now let's keep up with the news. Getting a bit lost here. So uh, the revised multi-sig got removed to WIP. We had a look at that one. 
Wonderland Dow Amendment had passed its votes with 96%. Again, that had been covered. Next up, there was a Wonderland Treasury report for December 22. So normally these are pretty juicy. We can see Wonderland Treasury report. The report contains a treasury spreadsheet showing positions at the end of December 22, as well as a mid-December sheet for the redemption whitelist. It declined 7.4% between sheets and Wonderland has been paying out over 10% APY of stake W memo in our farm. Our liquid backing declined by just under 1% during this period despite this. Let us begin by going over major and market news. I will cover a view and strategy afterwards as well as many notable TMPs. The most current treasury spreadsheet is at the bottom with our expenses. So the spreadsheet is here. You can click to view the whole thing if you really wanted to. But we'll take a quick read through here. So looking at the market, crypto, December was quite quiet. Decline of 4% month over month for Bitcoin and 8.4% on ETH. Most investors are still on the sidelines to wait to see how far the FTX contagion continues to spread. Concerns are currently with the DCG, which owns Genesis Billions. We have no direct exposure here, but a collapse would trigger other market sell-off. There are public concerns about Binance Solvency with DeFi Llama showing approximately 9 billion in outflows from the exchange month over month. We were not and not worried about Binance Solvency. With the Fed winding down interest rates in Q123, we may be near entering the bottom, but remain cautious. We believe the market is still to continue sideways through Q1. We may see some further downside depending on the contagion spread. Our directional exposure is mostly limited to ETH and GLP. Cfu Vision maintains some exposure here as well. We are planning to increase stable use as much as possibly while we wait for the market to turn the corner. We'll be done primarily by sourcing farms and we'll be doing some leveraging BLUSD on UU Lend. This will give us high yields and increase revenue to a project we hold a stake in. One lab will have exclusive access to high yielding stable farms on Interport when the project finally launches. High yielding public stable opportunities are increasingly challenging to find in this bear market, but we continue to work with the best ones for our holders. The bulk of the treasury management proposals TMP were created to deploy stablecoin farms and chicken bonds. We are able to pass the TMP to invest into Interport, which is providing a stable farm opportunity above. The deal on the over-the-counter bet swap position was attempted but fell through. Around a third of our position is in a V3 style near zero slips position on KyberSwap for purchase as an initially agreed on price. We will refill the position if it's purchased. Until then, we will distribute BSGG tokens to our users and they can do what they want with this low liquidity environment. Users can sell or stake their coins to participate in revenue sharing if they wish. We can see the treasury spreadsheet again, ETH was down 7.5%. They've been paying 10% over APY. So total liquid starting December was 108 million. Total ending was 107, so down a million. And the W member backing is slightly down, but again, it's month over month growth is down 0.9%, which is compared to the market, I think pretty reasonable there. I like these updates. It's good to keep an idea of the strategy and thoughts on the market as well. Next up, voting was live for the multi-sig enhancement. This was the one of removing now X and adding the two new members. This voting actually concludes in three days, but we can see 99.99% are voting yes to amend the multi sign. I don't sure how much time is even in voting, but I feel like this is getting past. So we will see the multi sig enhancements very soon. Well, in the next few days. Here we have Wonderland, we hope everyone's great. Uh, New Year is off to a great start. The team have a few operational updates to share. Our financial officer, Ruen, will be managing the treasury while we have designed a segregated pool for the treasury officers to target high yielding opportunities. This will help Wonderland achieve more lucrative returns while reducing additional risk. Stay tuned for more updates. Here we can see the redemption period had concluded. 325 WMO whitelisted for redemption. 249 was redeemed and burned. The amount of USDC claimed was 7 million out of 9 million. The new W memo in circulation is now 3,574. Next quarterly redemption will be scheduled to begin on the 1st of April 23. And then a post today. Hello Wonderland, we are pleased to announce our partnership with Uru Lend. 
Find more in the article below on their Medium publication. So Wonderland x Uru Land. So Uru Land is a is slated but be a leader in DeFi stable yields with the BLUSD vault allowing leveraging in triple digit APRs on top of already lucrative LP revenue sharing model with 100% going to stakers. More vaults for Wonderland to take advantage of coming soon. Uru tokens can be added to the Uru ETH LP and staked for at the time 90% APR as genuine revenue sharing, not more Uru tokens. The majority of the APRs paid in stables relatively short eight week locking yield will increase our liquid backing instantly thanks to our discount to market prices this will provide value to all holders as the protocol continues to expand as a supportive partner uru lend allows w memo to be used as collateral our investors can utilize this free up capital while still holding on to the w memo for more information please inquire on the uru lend discord server one land is striving to build dependable mutually beneficial long-term relationships in DeFi. This began by using KyberSwap as our preferred DEX hosting option, delivering mining incentives for liquidity. Now we are introducing UruLend as our preferred money market protocol. Stay tuned for news on other promising new projects that will help us build a strong ecosystem. A great deal of our time and attention is spent conducting due diligence on finding protocols with unique ideas, promising roadmaps, and sufficient funds in their treasuries to manage uh, to minimize risk of our investors funds so uland overview is a fork of aav2 with some tokenomic updates that give it an edge there's a max supply of 16 million tokens and a burn mechanism that will reduce this number over time other similar projects do not burn tokens or offer 100 percent revenue share to lp lockers very deep liquidity exists for uru tokens as a result over 90 percent of circulating tokens are inside the lp the majority of tokens that will be released over four years at a slow rate in order to prevent over flooding the market early on as well as provide price stability so we have emissions for borrowers and depositors and then platform fees will revenue share in u tokens then you can sell uru lp for revenue share you are investing or waiting four weeks you can claim that or you can instantly claim with a 50 percent receive and I feel a 50% penalty, which goes to stakers. And then the treasury, 20% of it is for stakers and the extra is burned. And you can use all of the below coins. Uruland Land Treasury does not receive a direct cut from protocol revenue. Instead, it locks up 20% of its LP as protocol owned. Uru tokens received a burn, reducing the supply. The treasury uses this position to participate in revenue share and accumulate other coins. This will protect the protocol, including users, including Wonderland from bad debt. Understanding loans will have a more collateral backing than, than, than debt, known as over collateralization. This eliminates risk of non-payment for depositors, while borrowers do not have to repay schedule and no limit on loan duration. Having forked most contracts from AAVE, which has been audited numerous times, UruLend recently completed an implementation order of its own. Uland recently migrated to V2 staking contracts to enhance security and prepare for upcoming vaults included. We're expecting a bright future. 12 assets are currently supported. Uland offers markets for certain coins not listed elsewhere, but gives additional use cases to exotic assets as for collateral as such as WMMO, LUSD and Sifu. The recently opened pool for chicken bonds BLUSD allows extremely profitable strategies even in this difficult market. Uland is the first and only place to collateralize BLUSD chicken bond by liquidity. We expect the launch of more vaults that will allow leveraging additional interest bearing assets for much higher returns. To conclusion, whether for simply depositing our stables to earn some APR and emissions to lower our cost basis further, earning rewards on our chicken bond strategies or staking LP tokens for revenue sharing, we are pleased to utilize Uland as our primary trustworthy and secure partner protocol. Exciting times are ahead for Wonderland as the team starts to rebuild the protocol for what it was designed to be. A means for investors to stake and chill or having a committed team generate value for all holders. And that is a really nice way to wrap up this video. So a lot of updates. Sorry if I glossed over some of that quickly, but I wanted just to fit in and keep you guys all up to date on Wonderland. But thank you all for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you on my next video.